Sticking with a schedule of daily routines can be tricky. I've been implementing an entire system, a whole system that I've created myself called Ritual Design since 2015. So for the last seven going on eight years, I've had a system of multiple different daily routines and I can tell you very confidently that I have not been perfect for many, many periods of that time. I mean, let's face it, there's a million things that can happen. Unexpected things can come up, unexpected events, people may need something from you, maybe something unexpected, uh, you know, a schedule change happens, whatever it may be, life happens and you sometimes have to change things around where one of your routines will take the hit. We could also literally forget. There has been many times where my after work routine is the shortest of the four, fundamental four of my routines that every once in a while I'll just kind of forget or maybe I'll lose track of time and all of a sudden I look at the clock and I'm like, oh, I gotta start dinner. Or the thing that I think gets most of us is the lack of physical and mental willpower. We may be tired, we may be hungry, we may be upset. Something that eats at us physically and emotionally and mentally may take its place instead of the routine that we've set out beforehand we told ourselves that we're gonna do. Did you ever tell yourself that you're gonna wake up early to implement this morning routine? And maybe you're gonna go to the gym first thing in the morning before work or something, and that alarm clock goes off and all of a sudden, it's a whole different conversation in your head. Or maybe you wanted to implement something before you go to bed, a bedtime routine, a PM routine. And maybe you wanted to work on that career change that you're trying to make and get some resumes done and you know get some resumes out there. And maybe you wanted to practice your guitar that you told yourself you're gonna practice for 30 minutes. So you set up this little PM routine and all of a sudden, you know, an hour and a half later, you're still watching Netflix. This is normal, you're human, I'm human, it happens. What we can only do moving forward is to take a look at our patterns that are developing and figure out ways that we can try to implement new behaviors and try to tweak and make changes to our schedule so we can actually implement these routines or get closer to implementing the routines that we want to. So today I'm going to quickly go over three most common things that I find when my clients are telling me that they have issues with their ritual design that often come up. Number one, your routines are way too packed. You're trying to get so much done in an hour before work. You're trying to get so much done in 45 minutes at the very end of the night. Uh, it's just too many different tasks that you've assigned to the time that you have allotted. And while that could be hard for us to chew because we want to, we're high performers. We wanna do all these things. We have to really have the reality check of how often we're going to be able to do all that in that tramp you know jam packed time frame for instance my morning routine is pretty jam packed and i've allocated for what i like to call fringe minutes here and there so for instance if i wake up at 6:15 to 6:30 i don't start excuse me 6:15 i don't start my morning routine until 6:30 because i know for the first 15 minutes it's me going to the bathroom, it's letting the dog out, it's feeding the dog, it's getting my water, it's getting my uh, pre-workout stuff ready, it's getting the, like it's all these things that actually add up to about 15 minutes almost every single morning. And it's taken time to learn. So I've had to adjust for these little things as time goes on, these little fringe minutes. I've also built in a couple of little fringe minutes here and there um, for just different variables. If my wife gets, uh, fin you know, gets ready a little bit earlier and comes downstairs and I'm still in the kitchen, we may end up talking for a few minutes. So I've built that in and that's been able to implement my morning routine very, very consistently for many, many years now. And what's nice about the system of ritual design is that if you are too packed in one routine, just take one of those tasks that you wanted to do and put it somewhere else. If you wanna spend 15 minutes reading a good book that you're reading and you wanted to really do that in the morning but you just don't have time, it's too packed, put it at the end of the day. So when you come home from work and you finish up for the day, 
you re kind of reward yourself for 15 minutes of reading. Number two, the opposite can be true and that our routines may be actually too sparse. We don't have enough tasks that are built into the routine, so that in itself welcomes in a lack of willpower saying, ah, I'll just skip this whole thing, which is not really because it's only one or two things you've told yourself you're gonna do in that routine or it welcomes in the idea of just forgetting it, right? I just totally forgot about it because it's not even <laughs> that much of a thing. It's just, you know, um, for instance, my after work routine is very simple. It's uh, feeding the fish, I have a koi pond out in the back, and doing a second meditation session. And I actually went through this uh, adjustment uh, recently and I used to do other things in the routine, so I boiled it down. Now I've got, and for numerous reasons, I've taken those other things out, working on the business and different things. I now only just meditate. And now I realize, you know what? This meditation is not, so I'm making more and more tweaks as time goes on. And actually right now as I'm filming this, I don't have an after work routine because feeding the fish is not a routine. It's just something that's gotta get done. It has nothing to do with my personal uh, productivity uh, development or, or personal or spiritual development. It's just the fish got to eat. So it's not a routine. And right now I'm just running on three instead of four fundamental routines. Number three, you may have not deemed this routine important enough. So for instance, if your routine is riddled with just things that kind of have to get done, the auxiliary stuff in our lives that does have a place and is very uh, is a very smart idea to place them inside certain routines, but it's not also coupled with things that are really important to your personal growth. So for instance, at night, if your whole routine is just like, you know, your skincare, um, brushing your teeth, um, you know, just whatever, um, just getting ready for bed, you know, it, it's not, it may not be important enough. So you may skip certain things and you may kind of uh, skip certain days here and there. But if your routine is built around, okay, you know, from eight o'clock to 9.30, I'm gonna be working on my side hustle. So that's a big part of the routine. And after that, I'm gonna have a really good tea that has turmeric and, you know, lemon and, uh, you know, maybe some apple cider vinegar or something that's really a healthy concoction. And then I'm gonna spend a half an hour with my my spouse because we didn't get to see each other all day. You know, this whole really, really positive routine that you've built around the other auxiliary type of uh, little ancillary things that, you know, just have to get done, that is much easier to actually see the importance and therefore be able to execute that much more consistently. But even still, you can have this very uh, on paper important routine, but if you in your heart of hearts don't actually deem it important and you're just trying to do it because some dude on Instagram told you to do it, then you're still not gonna be having that uh, energy to fight through the willpower that may not be there at 9.30 and 10 o'clock at night. There's probably a million other different reasons and things that might affect sticking to your daily schedule and sticking to your routines themselves. But ultimately, these are the three most common and I hope they helped. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit like and consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell notification so you can be notified next time I actually release a video. And if you're looking to learn a little bit more about this process of building your own routines. If you're new to this and you wanna actually have a system of rituals that you can actually implement, you should check out this video right here.